good morning to one and all today we are going to see about the economic load dispatch of steam power plant and hydro power plant so previously whatever we have seen uh, all the problems all deals with the only steam power power plant now we have taken a new problem on hydro power plant so what we did is we combined steam and hydro and together we uh, we are trying to solve this problem take down this problem a two plant system having a steam plant near the load center and hydro plant at the remote location as shown in the figure so first is uh, thermal power plant that is steam steam power plant that is near to the load center and hydro power plant is in the re remote location that is shown in the figure the load is 500 megawatt for 16 hours a day and 350 megawatt for 8 hours a day the characteristics of units are c1 is equal to 120 plus 45 pg1 plus 0 0.075 pg1 square rupees per hour next water equation is given w2 is equal to that is for hydro w2 is equal to 0 0.6 pg2 plus 0 0.00283 pg square meter cube per hour find the generation schedule daily water used by the hydro power plant and daily operating cost of thermal power plant hydro cost is given as uh, omega that is uh, zeta j is equal to 85.5 um, rupees per meter cube ha that is given in the problem how to do this problem first uh, solution unit one is steam power plant that is c1 is equal to 120 plus 45 pg1 plus 0 0.075 pg1 square rupees per hour unit 2 is hydro power plant that is water equation is given that is w2 is equal to 0 0.6 pg2 plus 0 0.00283 pg square meter cube per hour the daily operating cost of hydro plant gamma j gamma j is given as 85.5 rupees per meter cube ha now what we are doing is we are converting the water equation into cost e equation so cost equation c2 is equal to this water equation into that particular hydro cost hydro power plant cost that is 85.5 so if you multiply here you will get a c2 as 51.3 pg2 plus 0 0.2419 pg2 square rupees per ha now the general um, equation you know incremental uh, cost uh, fuel cost ic1 is equal to ic2 is equal to lamp so ic1 so you need to differentiate the first equation with respect to pg1 so we are getting 45 plus 0 0.150 pg1 next ic2 we are differentiating ic2 here c2 is here no so ic2 we are differentiating 51.3 plus 0 0.484 pg2 so this is the ic1 and ic2 now equating ic1 and ic2 so after simplification you will get the equation as 0 0.150 p1 minus 0 0.484 p2 that is pg2 is equal to 6.3 take this as equation number one what is the case one given case one is given as uh, demand as 500 megawatt so pg1 um, plus pg2 as 500 megawatt solving this two equation by your scientific calculator we'll get the generation pg1 is equal to 390.95 megawatt next pg2 is equal to 109.04 megawatt so you just tell in the comment whether you are getting the same answer or not what is the case to pg1 and pg2 as 350 megawatt so two cases are given so first uh, operating cycle is 500 megawatt and second operating a cycle is 350 megawatt so now take this as equation 3 and solving this uh, equation 1 and 3 okay so take your scientific calculator and solve it you will get the pg1 as um, 276.67 uh, megawatt and pg2 as 73.34 megawatt so for two demands we have calculated the pg1 and pg2 Next, whatever they ask, second they ask, water daily water used by the 
hydroplant that they ask. So case one, first case is 16 hours a day that is given in the problem. So clearly you need to understand the problem. Uh, that is very, very important. Otherwise, if you blindly solve, it will be whole wrong. So PD um, demand 500 megawatt for 16 hours a day and 350 megawatt for eight hours a day. So two condition given. So now um, for case one, we, we are doing. Okay, case one, um, like 16 hours a day, 16 hours a day. So by 16 hours a day, case one means uh, that is for uh, 500 megawatt. So 500 megawatt already we calculated PG1 and PG2. That is 390.95 and 109.04 megawatt. So while taking PG1 is equal to 390.95 megawatt and PG2 as 109.04 megawatt and um, 16 hours a day. So we need to calculate the water equation. So they uh, they ask like a daily water used. So water equation given in the problem as W2 is equal to 0 0.6 PG2 plus 0 0.0028 PG2 squared. Just to substitute these values in this equation. So PG2 only uh, given in the water 2 equation. So PG2 only you need to substitute. That is 109.04. A mega. So that uh, we are substituting and simplifying will get the water as a W2 uh, as a 99.07 meter cube per hour. So this is in meter cube per hour. So in the case one, 16 hours a day. So into 16 you need to multiply. So what is the water equation will become uh, W2 is equal to 1585.12 meter cube per day. Or for 16 hours for 16 hours. So this is the water equation. So you just tell in the comment whether you got the same answer or not. Next, uh, similarly case number. So next, uh, you need to calculate the operating cost of thermal power plant. That also they asked in the problem. So operating cost of thermal power plant, how to calculate now? C1, the cost equation, first equation they have given now. This is given in the problem. C1 is equal to 120 plus 45 PG1 plus 0 0.075 PG1 square. So we need to substitute PG1 as 390.95 megawatt. So here 390.95 megawatt, you just substitute here. So uh, uh, by simplifying, you'll get a 291.75 rupees per hour. So what is given in the problem? 16 hours a day that is given in the problem. So just to, uh, to multiply by 16, you'll get the cost as um, cost uh, operating cost of thermal power plant as 466814.28 rupees per day. That is for 16 hours. This is the cost. What is the case two? Case two is uh, eight hours uh, per day. Eight hours per day, and uh, demand is given as a uh, 350 megawatt. So 350 megawatt demand already we calculated PG1 and PG2. Okay. So for uh, 350 megawatt already we calculated PG1 and PG2. That PG1 and PG2 values you need to take for the case 2. So PG1 is a, as 276.67 megawatt and PG2 as 73.34 megawatt. Now daily water use for hydro power plant we need to calculate. So what is daily water use for hydro power plant? That water equation given. So you need to substitute PG2 as the 73.34 megawatt here. So uh, while substituting and calculating, you get uh, the water equation as 59.22 meter cube per hour. So this was only eight hours uh, per day. So into eight, you need to multiply. So into eight, if you multiply, you'll get a 473.76 meter cube per day. That is the water usage for the hydro power plant for eight hours if it is operating. Now, similarly, we need to calculate the operating cost of thermal power plant. So thermal power plant C1 is equal to this equation already given in the problem. So PG1, we need to substitute 276.67 megawatt for case two. So you just substitute it, simplify it. We are getting the cost as 18311.12 rupees per hour. So similarly, for eight hours per day, you need to multiply with eight. That is uh, into eight, you'll get the cost equation as 1464.88 rupees per day. Now, what they ask is daily water used by the hydro power plant for 24 hours because 16 hours and eight hours they separately given. So 
uh, water um, daily water usage for 24 hours how to calculate this means uh, water usage for 16 hours and water usage for 8 hours so you need to um, add so already we calculated for 16 hours water equation what uh, yeah for 16 hours that is case one water equation we calculated 1585.12 meter cube per uh, per uh, for 16 hours per day so here also we calculated the water equation for eight hours a day um, that is 473.76 meter cube per day for eight hours so that uh, two you need to add over here so if you add uh, this two you'll get a 2058.88 meter cube per uh, day that is the water usage for by the hydro power plant for 24 hours similarly you need to do it for thermal power plant total operating cost of thermal power plant for 24 hours that is mm, co cost uh, while taking the 16 hours and cost uh, we will taking the 8 hours so that also we already did uh, that uh, uh, cost operating cost for 16 hours and operating cost uh, for 8 hours you just you, you need to substitute over here uh, and adding that is 4 6 6 8 1 for uh, 8 1 4 point two eight uh, rupees uh, per day uh, that is for 16 hours next uh, 1 4 6 4 8 8 uh, um, that is for 8 hours that is rupees uh, per day so that two cost you need to add you'll get a 6 1 3 3 0 2 point two eight rupees per day this is how you need to calculate the operating cost for thermal power plant and water daily water usage for the hydro power plant so this is the different problem while uh, solving this problem you need to very very careful uh, in this data so first you need to understand the uh, problem clearly what they ask find the generation schedule that we calculated and water used by the hydro power plant okay for 24 hours and the daily operating cost of the thermal power plant. 24 hours not given but it is understood from the problem like 16 hours a day and 8 hours a day so 16 plus 8 is 24 hours so you need to calculate daily water used by the hydro power plant for 24 hours and daily operating cost for the thermal power plant also for the 24 hours and here you need to see this is the water equation w2 is if you blindly solve this is as a c2 then whole problem goes wrong so you need to be very very careful while doing this problem this is a, one of the important 10 mark problem that might be asked in your semester examinations thank you